Hey everyone, and welcome to day seven of our RV10 build. This was the day that we started work on the rudder. As you can see there on the workbench, we have the completed vertical stabilizer. When we were finishing up the work on the vertical stabilizer, as I mentioned in the last video, there was a couple parts where it was easier for one person to work on them instead of two. And so we actually jumped ahead a little bit there to look at what else we could start working on. And we did start a little bit of work on the rudder during the work on the vertical stabilizer. The top rib and the bottom rib came as a single piece. And what you had to do then is cut them apart and trim everything down and deburr those. And then the uh, shear clips also came as one long piece and you had to go and trim those down into the seven different pieces that were needed. So that was stuff that we'd already trimmed and measured. What we then started working on here, Tyler had taken all of these stiffeners and you have to cut them to different lengths because as you go uh, from the top to the bottom of the rudder, it's narrow at the top and wider at the bottom. So the stiffeners are shorter at the top than they are at the bottom. And so each one of these pieces for the stiffener was a long single piece that had already been folded at a 90 degree angle and then you had to go and measure them and cut them down to these ever decreasing sizes. So Tyler had already measured them and had me go back and just double check because you know it's always better to measure twice and cut once instead of having to order a new piece and wait for that to come before you can move on. After that we started cutting them down. I found that to really make sure that we got a nice straight line, I trimmed all the parts in half using the snips and then finished actually cutting it to the right length on the bandsaw. The other reason I thought that was easier was because since it was already bent at that 90 degree angle, it was a little bit tricky trying to get in there with the snips and not warp or bend the stiffeners while you're trying to, to cut it. And the pieces were just a little bit too long to fit the throat of our bandsaw. So trimming it down in half and then cutting it with the bandsaw helped make it work. The only one where you couldn't do that was one piece, you literally had to cut it in half, so that one just took a lot of time and patience trying to cut it properly to make sure not to bend it. And then it worked out really nicely here having two people because again, it was kind of like a little assembly line for us where I went and I'd cut the parts and then I'd started deburring them on the scotch bright wheel there on our bench grinder and then would hand them off to Tyler who then continue deburring them with the different deburring tools and the scotch bright pads. So it worked out really nice having that little setup there. When I'd finished my part of the deburring, I went and looked ahead to try and figure out what other parts we needed and went over to where we have them stored to get them ready for the next day. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and leave me a message in the comments if you got any questions.